I had not had any problem with my valve that I was aware of. Um, I go to the gym routinely and uh, had had a sinus infection, gotten what I thought was over it. Went to the gym, got on the treadmill, and um, noticed I was a little short-winded. Never have had that happen to me before. Um, when I went to lift weights, same thing happened. I wanted to blame that on um, the sinus infection and uh, didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. Had two events um, at night in the following weeks where I woke up uh, in the middle of the night, felt like I couldn't breathe, dead sleep, sit straight up, and it was like somebody had cut my windpipe. Uh, didn't last but a few seconds and got past that and thought, wow, that's strange. So I made an appointment with my uh, internal medicine fellow, um, doctor, and um, that was for Wednesday, May the 14th. On Wednesday morning, May the 14th, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I had another event, woke up, couldn't breathe, so my chest was tight. And that took me here to the emergency room, where we were diagnosed with a heart murmur and um, never had a heart murmur. The, um, Dr. Lawson here um, came in, told me it was bad enough that it needed repair, and we did uh, some tests and found out that some of the cords that attached that valve, the mitral valve, to the heart wall had ruptured and was allowing the blood to backflow severely. So. Um, had an appointment with uh, Dr. Harris two weeks later, talked with him about it, and um, he explained to me the options of either doing it the uh, way he had been practicing with um, manually using some tools uh, and doing that uh, the least invasive way uh, through your chest and um, without having to cut the breastbone. Or with the um, Da Vinci machine, robotics. And I liked the idea uh, after he explained that to me that he was able to manipulate it because it had wrists, so to speak. And being from a technology field, I kind of felt like, you know, everybody keeps turning down this technology. They're afraid of it. And same thing in computers. So, uh, I thought, no, I can't let that interfere with it. Let's do it with the robot. I had the surgery June the 5th, um, and since it was the first time they were doing the surgery, Dr. Harris and his team uh, practiced for five hours prior to that, that surgery. Um, after the surgery, of course, I spent two days in the hospital and were released on the third day, uh, which was amazing. They'd get up and walk out, um, had been up walking the, the day after surgery. Um, I was at home, able to get up, move around, eat. You know, I rested uh, like they advised. I have um, followed their instructions, out walking as they advised. Um, started back in cutting grass two weeks after the surgery. Um, been fishing, been golfing. Um, feel great.